What's going on everyone? This is Skyhound, also known as Geek Detective Pierce. Happy Halloween to those who celebrated. As promised, I did want to try to give my general thoughts and review on this. As much as I wanted to do, to do a video essay, time was not on my side. So, this three-part OAV psychological horror gothic film I remembered watching this back during my early um, college years and I did recall seeing the trailer for this film and what did sort of catch my attention was yeah Johnny Young Bosch was um, voicing the main character but also the artwork for um, this film is also what got me interested. Now, with that being said, I remembered when I was watching this for the first time, this film was definitely, I guess I could say, got me out of my element. Because I'm not much of a horror watching type of person. And the trailer definitely gave some sort of a vibe like one of those like really hauntingly creepy type of vibes. It's like you can't take your eyes off of it, but you know something's not right. Which is kind of what this film does to a degree. But there was also a podcast I remembered listening to recently and... This was with regards to, you know, the whole story itself. While it is symbolically um, heavy, there are, there is a bit of a story to this one. And the thing is that what's really clear about, I guess I could say, most of Eastern um, beliefs whether it's in Asia or Indonesia or wherever, some um, religious beliefs have the whole, you know, certain things, even some inanimate objects have a soul, which is what this film was trying to convey. And without trying to delve too much into this, um, basically, it's about this little girl named Cosette who unfortunately gets murdered by her former lover who was an artist. And it turns out that all of the antiques in the shop also have souls and they kind of witness the whole murder and everything else. So we get to this main character by the name of Ari. And he is also an artist, but it turns out that he is also the reincarnation of the murderer Marcello. And what happens is simply he gets curious about Cosette. And then slowly enamored. But at the same time as he's obsessing over her. Mentally, physically, and spiritually. He is really starting to spiral out of, it's starting to spiral out of control. He's neglecting the real world. He actually had, you know, a girlfriend who um, actually likes his work. And... It kind of goes from psychological into the whole horror aspect of it in a nightmarish type of sequence. Overall, I will say that the music is really good because it's done by composer Yuki Kajiura. And the art style, while gothic in nature... It also has a bit of a European touch to it because, well, basically, this does take place, supposedly, 
um, from one country to another. And in a sense, you get the feeling that um, this character, Cosette, is not all she appears to be. And what I found out, even though it's a little confusing for some viewers, is that basically there is the Cosette that got murdered and then the Cosette that got, you know, I guess I could say entrapped in a antique glass. So in a way, you think there's only one, but in a sense, there's actually two. As for who is who, I'm not going to delve much further into that. If you're interested in this type of thing, if you're into gothic horror, psychological horror, you know, all that type of stuff. Um, I do recall being told there was, as a result of this, there's another anime that copies this gothic um, Lolita style. I forgot the title of it, but... And essentially, for those who are into this type of um, style, um, I would suggest definitely go ahead, check it out. The manga, I found out, was obviously only two volumes. And overall, I would say the flow from chapter to chapter, it was pretty good. And then it's the third one where it can cause people to scratch their heads and you're like, okay, what exactly happened here? It's like we went from this to this, and now we're going down to here. And I'm like, okay. It's like, what is really going on here? Which, I mean, to the director's credit, I get he was trying to get a certain point across. Some people say he overdid it. I think he did okay. But what really caught my interest is the fact that this director also worked on another anime called Yu Yu Hakusho. Now, if you're familiar with the style of this director, he has a certain approach to, I don't know if I would say certain topics, but he has a certain approach to maybe a certain art styles. And you can sort of see that not just in Yu Yu Hakusho, but you can also see it in this film as well. Now, if I had to give an overall rating at best, on the objective side, it's really good. I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Subjectively, this definitely does have a few flaws that can kind of like take a person out of the experience. So with that, story-wise, at best, I'd give it maybe a 7 out of 10. The artwork is obviously great, so that's obviously a 10 out of 10. Music, definitely a 9 out of 10 for this, considering it's done by Yuki Kajigura, and she does some really great work. The trailer does mention she worked on Noir, as well as Dot .hack, as well as this, and... In addition to those, she also worked on Kara no Kyokai. She also helped form the trio of um, Kalafina, who has done not just the music for Kara no Kyokai, but also um, they've done um, Maho uh, Mad Madoka as well. At least the ending. And I will eventually cover that at some point. But overall, this anime was definitely a heck of a mind trip because it really kind of delves into, you know, what is beauty, what is love, and then how does that obsession cause a person to go from, you know, obsessed to really, like, losing it. I think that this anime tries its best to answer those questions, although it's a bit messy, but overall, I would say the story is pretty engaging to a degree. The art style, you know, it depends on the person, whoever likes this type of stuff, but if you like it, you know, more power to you. 
overall, I'd give this anime at best a 8 out of 10. But yeah, this is just my general thoughts and quick review of Cosette no Shozo, otherwise known as the little portrait of as the portrait of little Cosette. This is Skyhound, also known as Geek Detective Pierce. Signing off for now. Again, happy Halloween to those who celebrate it. Stay frosty, stay safe, and also have fun. Peace.